Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to render objects uh, following a path drawn using the glaze pencil. Uh, so let's get started and I'll just create this uh, landscape here using uh, the displacement modifier. So I need a plane and then subdivide it a few times, let's see, something like that and uh, then go to the modifiers, add uh, the the displacement, the displacement modifier. This step is not really necessary. I'm just trying to create an event terrain uh, that I can draw uh, the path uh, onto because uh, it would be more interesting uh, to watch. So let's add a uh, new texture, uh, clouds texture. Uh, the clouds texture, you can scale it using this size uh, tool, but uh, it's really hard sometimes because it goes only up to uh, two, uh, up to, it has a maximum value of two so uh, but uh, you can use an object an empty object and uh, in the uh, in the modifiers display modifiers you can change the texture coordinates uh, from local to object and then select uh, that empty as your object and now you can scale it and uh, it will scale uh, the texture and it will scale the noise I like that so uh, I think this is interesting enough. So let me just, so now we can start painting uh, the, uh, with the glaze pencil. So let's add a new glaze pencil object. Let's use a blank object. Now to draw, you just change uh, from object mode to draw mode. And then uh, make sure you have the glaze pencil object selected. Otherwise you won't have that option. If you have uh, a mesh selected, let me switch back to, Yeah, switch back to object mode. If say you have a mesh selected, you, you won't have that draw option. So make sure that you have the glaze pencil uh, selected. I've, where is this? Okay, just select it from here. Then you can draw over it. And uh, by default, uh, you will find that uh, when you draw, uh, the curve just go through uh, the surface, not drawn on the surface and see uh, this is what happens so to make sure that you're drawing on top of the surface uh, make sure that uh, your origin is set to 3d cuts your stroke placement is set to 3d cursor and uh, that way you can draw directly onto uh, the surface uh, if you want your glaze pencil to have a different material or a different color uh, you just have to go under the material options and uh, create a new material set the color you want and uh, that should draw exactly that hmm. i think it it goes with the first material you did i think hmm. okay so let's draw a path where we want these trees to grow so let's do a box like that uh, let's make sure that the origin is set to surface. I'm not sure why it's changing every time, but uh, that's okay. To sorry to 3D surface. Let's draw a square like that, and then let's draw a smiley face. And now we just need an object uh, that we can populate around this path. So I already have an object here, so I'm just going to borrow that. Uh, so let me find that, okay, it's this here. Shift D, maybe just to make it a bit different, I will add another one of these. So you can't just populate these directly onto the glaze pencil. What you have to do is first convert this into a mesh. And uh, so you just right click, right click, convert to a mesh. Uh, the problem with this, right now, it doesn't really convert directly into a mesh. It first converts it into a curve. And uh, you can see our curve, where is that? Okay. Sometimes uh, the curve doesn't appear. 
So right click, convert it directly. In. If you convert it first to, to a mesh, it will attempt converting it into a curve. And uh, the only way you have, you can see it, I think this is a bug, uh, you just have to tab into edit mode and then out. I have the duplicated, uh, the created curve uh, selected and tab into edit mode and then out. Let me just show you the steps here again because I think that was a bit confusing. Delete everything. Let me even delete this side, these things here. So that we only have uh, the objects we are using here. So, yeah. <coughs> Let's select this here. Delete. Delete. Yeah, so when you have your path like this, I can right click it, convert to a mesh. And uh, it won't convert it directly into a mesh. I think this is a bug. Uh, it just converts it into a curve. And uh, that curve won't be visible right away. You have to tab into edit mode uh, to make it appear. You can see now this is what we have. It's there. And uh, yeah, I also th the option to duplicate are uh, these here, are uh, these objects here, onto the curve is not. Uh, possible so you have to convert that curve again into a mesh you can see how that changed and see so now we have our mesh so what we can do is go to uh, the mesh properties display properties and under instancing you can select versus and uh, any object parented to that object will be an instance uh, of every vertex will be duplicated on every vertex of this object so let me hide uh, the terrain first and maybe the glaze pencil so that you can, you can see what i'm doing so after i turned on the instance uh instancing vertices i if i parent this object uh, to this here it should be duplicated along on every vertex of this here so if you move this object now into onto the origin of this object, just select this, shift S cursor selected, and then select this, shift S selection to cursor, see what we have. Now the problem we are having right now is that uh, uh, this, th there are a lot of duplicates uh, because each of these vertices, each of these objects are being duplicated on every single vertex, as you can see there. Uh, so and uh, because the vertices are very close to each other, we are having this issue of intersecting. So the way we can fix that is uh, uh, before you even convert this, uh, you have to reduce the polygon count of your mesh or of your curve uh, before you convert it to before you convert it into a curve. Uh, I tried uh, using the decimate modifier uh, to reduce uh, the number of uh, vertices, but uh, it gives you an error uh, because I think it needs faces instead of uh, instead of uh, vertices so you can also try using the merge vertices by distance and uh, that should also actually i think this works even better because you don't have to go outside of the object so yeah what i did in the previous version i just went to the curve reduced the uh, there is an option to decimate a curve uh, in the let, I'll just show you in a second, but uh, I think this works better. If you might by distance, you can reduce some of the vertices. I'm planning on working on a plugin uh, that can do this, the, all of these steps, and uh, you just have to play around with the different our uh, different buttons uh, to do everything here. But uh, yeah, I think this is okay. So if we bring back our terrain. And again, uh, the, the issue with this is that uh, after you have merged uh, those, you can't undo that step. So uh, that's the issue with that, unless you undo and bring it back to that, like that. Let me have this selected, edit mode. Okay. Why am I not selecting it? Yeah, if you want to do to reduce uh, the polygon count at the curve level, uh, let me just hide this and convert this again into a 
mesh uh, which will create a curve instead go to edit mode at C uh, that curve actually which curve is this I think it's this here yeah so this is the curve uh, there's an option to decimate uh, the curve if you right click and see this decimate curve and uh, that should also reduce uh, the polygon count uh, but I uh, can see it's giving me an error uh, that uh, it only works on Bezier curves so what you have to do is hit the uh, right click and then change uh, the spline type uh, to Bezier and then reduce and then use the decimate modifier you can see I don't remember this happening last time asking me to convert this into a, a busy so I guess I use the different option so let me right click let me try dissolve what says ah let's segment yeah I don't remember asking me to first convert it into a, a busy yeah that's weird but uh, yeah just convert it into a busy curve uh, if you are asked to uh, if it's if you if it's giving you an error and then decimate it like that and also after decimating it you can go into uh, the curve options and reduce the preview resolution to have even less vertices but i think doing it at the mesh stage uh, is better just smudge by distance uh, that will save you a lot of time uh, so smudge by distance and uh, just reduce or increase uh, the merge uh, distance yeah i'm planning on uh, creating this into a curve so that you can easily draw so that you just have to draw the uh, the spline object or you just have to draw the glaze pencil and uh, uh, the add-on will do the rest you just use the options just drag values on the curve and uh, you should do uh, the rest yeah thank you for watching